Hello, my name is Neto Rosatelli and welcome to the Cataract Surgery Channel. During surgery, we regularly face issues hampering good visualization, a key factor in FACO, as well as posing infection and test hazards due to unwanted material on the eye surface. Eye wash is a term I coined to refer to the act of washing the eye with the FACO irrigation line. Wash the eye using the disconnected irrigation line under pedal or panel control. Going from nasal to temporal direction makes it more effective, guiding the flow towards the bag. A cell sponge or Q-tip can be used to enhance the cleaning action. Of the situations requiring eye wash, a dry ocular surface is one of the most frequent. In here, a dried corneal epithelial covered with hydrophobic material is a challenge to good visualization. Copious washing aided by Q-tip mechanical action is needed. Subsequent coating the eye surface with dispersion of OVD resolves the problem. Use of dyes, tripon blue in this case, is another example of the effectiveness of the eye wash in easy and thoroughly removing all the collected dye. Similarly, blood, clotted or not, is easily dealt with. Oily contaminants and debris collected in the surface, especially in deep set eyes, may pose a challenge to removal. The eye wash again proves its value here. Eye prep povedon remnants, in this case accompanied by mucus discharge, can be promptly washed out and a clean ocular surface is achieved. Adherent discharge not perceived before is removed here after some initial surgery steps have been performed. Unseen discharge is relatively frequent and can carry hazardous contaminators inside the eye. If the need is presented or felt, extensive ocular surface and povidone sepsis can be carried out even up to the conch furnaces and draping margins, reassured by the fact that the eye wash will remove everything and a safer surgery can begin. Dispersive OVG over the cornea completes an excellent eye preparation for surgery. Eye wash presents many advantages over other commonly used means of washing or removing unwanted material from the eye surface during surgery. An unparalleled amount of fluid can be quickly delivered ensuring efficiency 
with no special devices needed and at any moment. It kind of prepares the patient for what he or she will be feeling during surgery, such as touch to the eye or cold fluid on the eyelid margin, for example. It avoids bubble and foam formation, commonly encountered issues with cannula or pure irrigation. It also reduces stress and endophthalmitis risk, which is no small thing. I would advise to make it part of your draping routine just before beginning the surgery so that you have a squeaky clean eye offering excellent visualization as well as improved safety. Search Neto Rosatelli on YouTube and visit my other channel with cataract phaco clips for relaxed viewing. Please like, share, subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching.